So your girl is over here pretending like she got money. Like, this angle is just not flattering. But anyways, I have good news and kind of bad news at the same time. But mostly good news. Okay, so your girl just booked herself a flight to Mexico for August, early August. I'm going to be going to Mexico with my family. Um, so this is going to be like our first big like family trip that we're taking. Um, it's going to be me, my aunts, my cousins, my sister, um, everybody and their kids and their hubbies, but not my hubby and not my kid because unfortunately my husband, because he's not um, I guess because he doesn't have uh, his his the right citizenship, he's not able to travel outside the country right now. So he has to stay in the U.S. And then um, my son, I'm not going to bring him because I don't want to have to handle him my, myself because he's too. Um, I'm not sure if I've said this before, but my fiance is from Honduras. So um, until he gets like the right citizenship he's not able to leave the u.s he left the u.s if he left the u.s he would not be allowed to come back so um he can't come but my sister's going her kids are going um her fiance is going um and then i have my cousins and stuff going and then my mom is not going either because she just doesn't like to travel so she's just gonna stay home but um I get to kind of get a little break from, you know, being a mom. Um, even though I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss my son because I always miss him whenever I'm away, I'm away from him for, like, more than, like, a few hours. I always miss him because I'm not used to being away from him. But, um, you know, I get a little break from being a mommy and um, I get to just kind of travel by myself, you know. I mean, not really by myself, but, you know, by myself. So um, I booked this trip knowing that the money is tight but I don't care because it's been so long since I've had a vacation like I normally like to travel like every few oh my god my nose oh I don't want to edit this video so y'all just gonna have to pretend y'all didn't see that coming out my nose but I normally like to travel like every couple months every three months I like to either fly somewhere or take a road trip I mean it doesn't have to be far but I like to you know like I like to live my life I like to travel I like to do new things but ever since you know things have just gotten so tight with money it's it's like we haven't gone anywhere like I think it's been over a year oh last time I went somewhere was Vegas for my for my 30th birthday which was over a year ago so that to me is kind of a big deal I know some people don't you know they don't travel a lot they don't care to travel and that's on them but I really like to travel so I'm excited I'm going to Mexico um I don't regret booking this ticket <laughs> but I was looking at the resort that my family is staying at and because they picked the resort and everything it's a five-star resort in um I believe Playa del Carmen but we're flying to Tulum which is I don't know how far Tulum is from Playa del Carmen but I have been to Mexico twice before this is gonna be my third time going but I've never been to Tulum I've been to Cozumel and I've been to Cac Cancun so this is gonna be my first time going to Tulum and Playa del Carmen so I got was spinning everywhere so um yeah, I'm not sure how far away the resort is from the airport, but they booked this beautiful resort that is going to cost me some money because, you know, I'm staying by myself. Um, you know, most hotels, when you book them, they're based off of double occupancy. So, you know, if you pay a certain price, most of the time you split it with the person that you're staying with. So it's like, you know, two people in a room, which makes sense so that the hotel is more affordable because you guys can split the payment. But because I'm going by myself and obviously my fiance is not going, my son's not going. I'm going to be paying for the room by myself and it is an all-inclusive resort so I guess it's not so bad because you know my food and my drinks and my alcohol and everything will be included in the package you know the, the hotel package which isn't so bad but it's gonna cost me like over a grand to stay there by myself at that resort and then I have my aunt who offered to stay like to, to book a room with me to go half half and she has her daughter and we could stay together but to be honest I'd rather stay by myself because I just want to be comfortable I want to be able to party and go out late and do whatever I want without any sort of judgment so that's why I didn't want to stay with like 
you know, any older people in my family just because I know how they are. They, you know, they go to bed early. They're, you know, they're old. So it's like, I'm not going to stay in a room with you if I want to be out partying, and, you know. So honestly, I'd rather stay by myself and just pay for the hotel room by myself and just, you know, eat, eat, the, eat the extra payment and say, you know, F it. I'll just stay by myself and make sure that I have a good time and make sure that I'm comfortable, make sure nobody's passing judgment on me if I want to be drunk 24-7, um, if I want to come home to my hotel and, you know, throw up in my toilet all night, that's on me, you know, I don't need to have anybody judging me, so, um, this really is going to be, like, a fun vacation for me because I haven't really traveled, you know, like I said, in over a year, and, and you know, I don't really get that many breaks from being a mom, so I'm really looking forward to it, even though it is going to be interesting how I'm gonna come up with this money because we leave in August so I have to start saving up this little this money and I still have to pay for my bags for the flight um oh my god I need to sneeze I still have to pay for my bags for the flight and I still have to pay for um a baby a dog sitter for my dog because I I'm the primary caretaker for my dog so if I'm gonna go away for more than like a couple days I normally book a dog sitter for him so I'm gonna have to pay for that as well um, and then obviously I'm going to get myself some clothes before we go with myself some cute outfits, some new swimsuits. I'm obviously going to have to get my hair done, my nails done. So your girl has to save up some money, but that's okay. I'm, I'm confident that I will come up with the money before then. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be like interesting traveling with my family because... <laughs> It's gonna be like my first time really traveling with my extended family. Like, I've traveled with my sister before, um, and I've traveled with my family before, but it's been a few years. Like, I think we went to Florida before. We went to Canada. Like, we've been a few places, but this is gonna be like probably the biggest like real vacation that we've gone on because when, whenever I've traveled with them, it's normally for like a wedding or you know for to see family or something but this is really just going to be like a vacation that like we just plan just to go on together so i'm looking forward to it i know it's going to be fun it's going to be nice you know spending time with family and kind of getting to know my cousins and stuff a little bit more you know spending more time with them because as you start to get older you just spend less time with like you know your cousins and stuff and to think that like we grew up together we used to spend like days and days together like we used to spend all summer together and stuff and we used to live together at one point like all my cousins i used to be so close with growing up so it's gonna be like you know it's probably gonna be like that again but we're adults now we have our kids even though i'm not bringing my son i know they're gonna be bringing their kids and stuff and you know i'm just happy that i get to kind of check out from being a mom for a few days so yeah i booked the trip i did it uh, this is also going to be a little motivation for me to continue my weight loss journey because I'm not trying to look like a freaking whale on the beach. You know, I got to take my Instagram pictures and got to make sure your girl look good. So this is going to be some more motivation for me to, you know, get this body right. So anyways, yeah, that's the update. I booked a trip even though I'm broke. But listen, if there's, there's a whale, there's a way. Listen, you know, like I got to live my life. So, Mexico loading, Mexico pending. Ooh, I can't believe this is my third time going to Mexico. Like, what? Madness. Just madness. Um, but, anyways, that's the update so far. I'm excited about my trip. Uh, I'm going to be working like a slave these next, these next couple months. And, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.